catching fraudsters who are stealing billions from the state of Maryland. And believe it or not, many agencies are really susceptible. Rachel Manitoff explains what the Comptroller's Office is recommending to combat this. As Maryland battles the continuing COVID pandemic, it's received billions in federal, public, and private funding. That's kept the state's economy afloat, but it's also put a target on its back. And it's all about uh, playing whack-a-mole with the fraudsters who are constantly trying to uh, break into systems. Comptroller Peter Franchot gave the example of unemployment claims. The Department of Labor has given out $14 billion to people struggling financially. Two billion of those dollars were actually stolen. Well, that money should have gone to people who are really in need, who are unemployed, who have no money. Instead, it went to out-of-state uh, fraudsters, and sometimes they were out of country. He says his office has a robust fraud detection system, but that most other agencies don't. That's why he's recommending a centralized fraud detection center for all state agencies, which have become increasingly susceptible. And when you put $70 billion into a state like Maryland, a relatively small state, uh, that's a lot of uh, targets for these uh, crooks to go after. And the comptroller says the fraud detection system is a combination of sophisticated data and algorithms and also a partnership with cybersecurity experts. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.